What's going on guys? Welcome to Completely Average Gaming. Welcome to Anno 1800, which had a free weekend this weekend, being the 13th and 14th and 12th, uh, weird order, of April. Awesome. Jumping in, trying it out, seeing how, how it feels. Um, this is going to be a bit different than normal. I'm going to be doing some historical, like, anecdotes, fun facts, you know, because at least I learned a lot of history and a lot of fun jazz from playing games when I was younger, and it's always nice to have a little bit of a, a, a freshen up, a little bit of a, you know, this is how it worked, in case you forgot, uh, which is quite, you know, I, I do that all the time. Um, and I figured, you know, why not? It, the 1800 is a fun year to, to talk about either way, you know, no matter what you like, how you look at it, uh, especially when you know all the fun jazz that went on back in those days. Uh, so we'll be, you know, covering that a little bit, not like... You know, it's mostly gameplay. Let's be honest here. This is, it's a game. You want to play it. You don't want to listen to me talk more than absolutely necessary. Um, unless, of course, you you thoroughly enjoy the sound of my voice. Which, uh, you know, if you are, thanks. Appreciate it. Um, respect and all that. So, um, what I've done so far, I've, I've started, and this is probably not going to do so well right there. I have started out a little bit just to, you know, get my uh, my feet wet, so to speak, and also in order to um, to make sure that this stuff, um, you know, we get some kind of progression here. Uh, so what we've done so far is we've put down a market right here. We have some houses on either each and opposite sides. We have a warehouse over here that distributes stuff all around the map, uh, or you know, at least within it. Cashman area. Uh, and then we have a lumber mill over here, and we have a sawmill over here. The sawmill is currently, or at least was, um, just waiting for, get, get rid of that. It was just waiting for logs. Uh, right now it seems to be working just fine. We got one wood in storage as well. I'm gonna be calling it logs, but it, it is, when I say logs, I mean wood. When I see planks, I mean timber, I think it's called. It is, um, it's just me being you know, old and um, set in my ways, I suppose. Uh, so uh, for now, we only have some some timber. We've uh, recently set up some some fishermen's shops over here. Uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be working our way towards fulfilling the needs of our inhabitants. They still need clothes. Um, they'll get it eventually, but you know, you gotta chill. They're a content farmer. Is that your name? I doubt it. That'd probably more of a mood kind of swing, kind of jazz. Uh, and once we have all the needs they need, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, once all the needs are fulfilled, we'll be able to upgrade the houses into more high-end houses, where more high-end people live, because uh, that's that's apparently a thing. Uh, we won't be using that for that. We'll we'll put down another one of these uh, lovely little lumberjacks out here in the wilderness. How about there? It was a rhetorical question. It's going there anyways. Either way, it's going there. Um, and then I think we'll we'll start, you know, planning out our the rest of this um, uh, livable area uh, before we start working our way towards the uh, wool and stuff, such things. If this works as it as it normally does, and I would imagine it does, and based upon what I'm looking at right now, it works the same way. Um, your residents pay you taxes. The taxes gives you money uh, whilst you know public buildings like the warehouse the market the uh, lumber mill the timber all this jazz it costs you money uh, but you know once you um, uh, get the houses upgraded the residents pay you even more money but I think it's about time we jump over to the first fun fact about the 1800s yeah fun and history in one sentence be ready We'll start off with just a quick little summary of what the 1800s was all about. Number one was the room for the later half of the first industrial revolution, which took people from the farms into factories um, and also reduced the cost of a lot of commodities. And it was also the room for the second industrial revolution uh, in the later part of the 1800s, which also, again, made our life a lot more affordable and allowed us to live in a higher living standard. Another fun fact is it also brought us the um, electricity. That's kind of big. I know I like my electricity. 
uh, and it improved on uh, the steam technology to the level where we had steam trains, steam cars, or steam trains on on roads, and um, and steam boats. So that's kind of fun. We'll talk more in the next one. Now, I hope you found that interesting because we'll be doing more of those. Uh, and by the time you have any say in the matter, it will all be recorded. So, you know, it's kind of kind of a you don't really get it, get it your way either way. Uh, I kind of sort of made a little boo boo. I put down this because I forgot I wasn't recording anymore. So I was literally sitting here talking to myself saying, Oh, well, we'll put down a fire station. No, 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 no. No one was listening because I wasn't recording. Uh, that was kind of my fault. But we put down a fire station as well. It's like I don't showcase any of the stuff I build, apparently. Uh, which kind of sucks. It's not one of those things I usually do. I'm going to pretend like that's, you know, I've never done that before. I've never made a mistake in this kind of game or any game. Or while recording or anything. Uh, but I have. And it's, it's going to happen again and again and again. But I'll try my best and... Um, you know, we'll hope that hopefully that will be uh, enough for for things to be good. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the potato farm down. Apparently, it doesn't have any. I would imagine that it has attachments to it. But we'll put it right there. We'll see how it goes. Hello, Mr. Potato Farm or Miss or whatever. Uh, can I put down? Uh, is this a potato farm field thing? It was. All right. Beautiful. Do you have, like, how, how much potato farm field can you have? Apparently a decent amount. Okay, we're starting to shrink in now. Alright, that's going to be it. Uh, potato farm should be potato farming. Beautiful. Uh, and then we'll also have a pub somewhere. I would imagine you can just be anywhere. So, uh, not a pub, a distillery. Beautiful. Missing potatoes. That's coming, you know, chillax a little bit. We're, we're getting there. Beautiful. Um, that would probably require a. Does it require a pub? Or can you just be sold in the market like everything else? Schnapps. Uh, is. Um, income is generated by fulfilling needs. I'm working on fulfilling needs. I should be thanked and honored and uh, possibly be considered a god. Uh, let's put down a pub either way because, you know, pubs are always fun. Um, I would imagine they, they had quite the. Quite the standing back in the days. Uh, let's let's just do that. Let's also put down a road over the last part of it. Never mind. We'll put it there. That's fine. Yep, that's exactly where I wanted it from the get go. Sh shut up. Don't say anything. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't where I wanted it, but um, it's where it ended up, and I'll just deal with it. Um, let's just put a couple houses on the edge there. And this is one of the oh, why why are you not what are you what are you requiring that we don't have you haha you require some more timber which we don't have you also we're losing money which I kind of don't really find enjoyable uh, but we are building up our timber uh, we could probably do with more timber production am I right I am right of course I'm right I'm always right whoever says differently don't know what they're talking about. Uh, we'll put that there, you know, because it's in the same general area, and I don't have much more. Um, you know, I'm not gonna not gonna make it more uh, advanced than that. Um, get rid of all these. Beautiful. Do we have like I'm 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 looking for one something in particular. That's not the one. Okay, uh, maybe it's down here somewhere. World map diplomacy roots. That was in big fat. No, there it is. Beautiful. Um, fish were gaining, timber were losing. I imagine we're losing even more as we're, you know, we've kind of decided to build something that we we don't ha didn't have the resource for. There we go. Uh, we're on now. Distillery apparently not working just yet. We're working on it. All right. Well, I can dig that. One potato <laughs> sword. All right. Um, you take thirty seconds. How long do you take? You also take 30 seconds. Really? With all that farmland, you only, you only make one potato every 30 seconds? In harvest season, mind you. I would imagine it's harvest season all, season all year long, though. But what do you know? Oh, well. All right. What's up next, then? We should probably start thinking about making some clothes. And I want a designated area for clothes production. Possibly over here. 
Or maybe over here. Ooh, there's a mine. All right, so it's, it won't be over there then, because uh, I want the mine to have its own little spot, own little place in the universe. It only belongs to the farm, uh, to the mine. Sorry, yeah, potato, potato. It's it's one or the other. Doesn't really matter. And there we are. Uh, is this free farm workers people? Mo change production rate. What? Okay, well, I'm not gonna give a crap about that. Not yet, anyways. Cultural city attractiveness. Curious village. Thank you. Uh, one, culture. Three, 14, nature. Zero, festivity. And zero, negative stuff. All right, I can dig that. Uh, next level, 135. More. Island population, 209. Uh, next population level upgrade workers okay copy that uh build that <clears throat> build me a road we'll just do it like that for now what do you what are you what are you complaining about missing goods well shut your face it's coming okay chill take a chill pill sit down and relax uh la -dee -da, -dee da two timber copy that and two so that's four timber we got seven so that should be fine where do you want to put it I'm still thinking like this general area. Maybe on this side of, uh, of sort of like the, the cross. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, you have a. You should be working just fine. What do you? What do you? What are you on about? One hundred percent. Um. Server and storage. All right. Well, that's that should be fine then. Are we making any? Ooh, we got it full, filled up. Oh, and we've started making more money. Awesome sauce. All right, let's uh, start the wool production then, shall we? Um, maybe we can do two, like more or less next to each other. Let's do like that. I got a plan for this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Things will still uh, be happening. Oh, these are three by three, which um, incidentally works out just fine for me. And it's three out of three. Even better. Works even more smoothly with my plan. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I uh, just have the road through there because uh, that's where it's going to end up eventually. Um, and uh, I would imagine we kind of want to go down there. But I want to, before we do that, let's, uh, can we have two wide? Thank you. I find it easier to just do it that way. And I should have gone one further in. Which... I thought you could just hold and move. Oh, you can. Alright. I, I just didn't do it right. No, no, no. Uh, I think that would be it. Perhaps. It would. Awesome. Uh, no warehouse in range. Well, warehouse might be coming. Uh, how about that? You feel a warehouse in sight now? Yeah, I would imagine as much. Right, get me, get me one of those as well. <clears throat> Make some of those uh, clothes for me, please. Would be nice of you. Oh, and you don't have a road connecting to where you want the road connected to. There you go. How do you feel now? Beautiful. Uh, I take it you feel good. Now you spend 30 seconds on one, and uh, you happen to spend 30 seconds on one, so we should do another one of these. Just put it right next to it. That's gonna be fine. Yeah, no one's gonna complain about some industry right next doors. No, not at all. No one would complain about that. Why would you? What do you, what do you mean? What do you, what do you, oh yeah, you're missing wool? Well, it's coming. Chill. Beautiful. Let's do another cutout, shall we? What do you know about transportation in the 1800s? That was kind of a big one. Oh well, we'll take a little piece of it. In 1824, the Stockton Darlington Railway in the UK ordered the first two steam engines, um, steam locomotives, trains, um, that was to be used on public railway. And um, they ordered it for 550 pounds each, which is roughly 45,000 pounds in today's money. But that's still ridiculously cheap compared to what we got transferred now. That said, these two trains weren't 
particular fast, they had a top speed of 15 miles per hour and were the first trains to haul passenger line, uh, passenger trains, passenger wagons. So that's kind of fun. But again, it was worth mentioning, as you know, trains have really revolutionized the way we move about and transport goods and passengers in the world. Beautiful! Hope that was, you know, at least equally interesting as the last one. Um, but we got our, our first little quest here. This, um, this lovely little uh, lady right here. Oh, it disappeared. That's that's not good. Uh, wants us to farm us off your puzzle quest. Uh, quest. All right, I'll do it. Find and collect the wild animals. Okay, do I like look at them here somewhere? Or oh, that one. I wish I did goose for your kindness. Uncommon, equipped in ships. All right. Apparently, I can equip a woman in the ship. Hello. How the hell do I equip someone here? Uh, active defense sounds good, but uh, but how do I equip a person? Like that feels wrong to me, but uh, maybe it's just me. No, no, no. You you were fine where you were. Get back to it. Absolutely zero clue how to um, how to equip someone to a ship. It said you equipped to a ship, didn't it? Sell ship, no, no, alright. Um, no, stay where you are, in front of the port, because uh, that's where you were liked and wanted and all that good jazz. Uh, so we're almost breaking a profit right now, we're at minus 16, and it's still ticking down, so you know, it might be looking up here. Uh, any minute, indeed. Uh, which, is, which would be awesome, I mean, making a profit, it's already blown my expectations for my own skills in this game uh, if we if we were to make a profit that is it's still to be seen um, but it, it very much looks like we are about to uh, so you know let's put a couple extra houses in just to there we go it's a profit it's a profit let it rain 25 gold a, a tick or whatever that is Beautiful. Uh, it's actually actually quite exhilarating. Like it makes me makes me happy to see that um, I'm apparently doing better than I expected on myself. Beautiful. Here we are. I'll upgrade that one as well. Uh, not upgrade it, but you know, build it in the first place. What do you what do you still require? Oh, you you're lacking the upgrade cost. If that's all you're lacking, I will upgrade you right away. What do you mean you can't upgrade? Oh, we don't have an upgrade cost. Um, I, hmm. See, I figured it was the uh, figured it was this stuff. We apparently leveled up our profile. Leveled up. Okay, if you say so. Now, where is my timber? I wonder. Timber. Oh, well, there we go. It's about to take in. Beautiful. Now, if I were to smack that, what? what? I saw a wagon just pull in there with four. What's going on? You're just chilling outside, are you? Is that what's going on? Oh, no, no, no. It's an unloading speed thing. Ah, uh, copy that. Oh, there we go. Hello. Upgrade. <laughs> First workers. Ain't that nice? Um, which means we'll need more clothes, apparently, and it's taken down fast. And that's only one house. Oh no. All right, all right. So well, I suppose we'll need another farm thing then. We'll put the, that was the wrong one. There we go. Uh, um, sure, we'll just put it there for now. Then we'll go ahead and plonk down some of these. Now, if I were to move you, you can only go one square, okay. Well, one square you go then. And I think we'll just do that. And uh, double it up on the other side. Like, no. Can I, I? I can't move that. Oh, what a nice surprise. There we go. And then we'll want some more of these ones. We'll just put those there. We'll invite a little road to come join us. Beautiful. Uh, we'll put a road in there just to, you know, 
possibly make that work. And it's okay. The road is gone. Where's my bulldozer? Fun fact: the bulldozer didn't exist at this point. See, it's it's a fun fact without even you know going about the whole cutout and all that good jazz. There we are, beautiful. Now that's gonna take a little while before that can can build itself up, but it should should mean that we um, got plenty of wool and plenty of uh, clothing production for now. So we'll, we'll go ahead and, and upgrade another house. Beautiful. We don't have the upgrade cost for that, and that's fine. You know, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, I don't have the bread, soap, or beer. Uh-huh, beer. All right, I, I can dig a beer. Might have dug one or two before as well. Shh, don't tell anyone. No spice left here. Oh, uh, well, you know, that's actually just fine. I, I like it with no space left. As a matter of fact, kind of prefer it to, to there is space left. Uh, workers. Well, let's see what we can do. Bricks can now be made. Copy that. Where, where's, uh, do we have any, like, where can I, where can I take it out? Where, where, where do we have a brickwork kind of pit kind of jazz thing? All the way, are you kidding me? Must be something closer than, than all the way over there. Come on. Come on. No? No? Really? Oh, that kind of kind of absolutely sucks actually. All the way over here. That's basically the other side of the flipping island. Alright. It is what it is. Trade union. Only useful if you if equipped with items. Well, if it's only then it's no worries getting it online then, is it? If I were to put one of these, say over here, a pig farm, that'd be nice, right? Probably, people would probably enjoy that. I would imagine. Um, I kind of want to say that that's going to be fine, but I kind of don't. All right, we'll put it there. That's that is going to be fine. Then a road, just uh, quickly connecting up like uh, that, Jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need some farm. Uh, stuffs. That's fine. There you go. See? Farm stuff. Can I... Oh, I cannot move you one further down. Alright. Uh, I think you now have one little slip of a land there to get out. You do. Beautiful. Like, I have... What are you, what are you, what are you on about? A fire broke out. Well, there's a fire station right over here. Go get it. Oh no, it's in one of our clothing facility thingies. Missing pigsty. What do you mean? There's a pigsty right here. Oh, up till five. All right, I gotcha. There we go, that's, um, that's five. Regular road, yes, and, uh, like that. I'm not sure if you need to connect those with roads, but you now do. Beautiful. Did we save this thing, or is this the thing, like, gone now? If this is the health, we're good. Unless, of course, it goes up in terms of destroyedness. Oh, here's another fun fact about this little thing. I didn't think this went through. Fun fact about firefighting? Well, at least we have the um, fire hydrant, which was invented by a guy called Frederick Groff, or at least believed to, because the patent office kind of sort of burnt down in 1836. That's going to be it for this one, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you liked the little historical anecdote thingies. Um, because, you know, it's it's one of those things. And it was something I tried. Might have been fun. Might have not been. Let me know in the comment section. And I'll try and do more similar stuff if you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, you know, why not consider subscribing to the channel. See what else is going to go down. Things are about to change in terms of trying to do things a little bit differently. So that's going to be fun and exciting to try. 
Um, so yeah, for now, I've been Average, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!